Alright, this is a quick video for Patton about uh, doing the tire change on the Nikola. I'm not actually changing the tire, but I uh, got a replacement uh, control board that I'm going to be putting in. So while I have it open, I can just show uh, what I did to change the tire. So you're going to take off the six outer screws, and it's not going to come off this easily because it's uh, stuck on with double sided tape. Um, I prepared it especially for the video. Okay. Um, so this is what you're going to see on the inside. This is what on the right side, yeah? Yeah, on the right side of the wheel. So you got your control board here. And uh, you're going to want to unplug the power. So this is the, the main power in. Um, and when you've unplugged that, you're going to want to drain the caps. So I guess you could like hold the power button just to drain the, these capacitors uh, for your safety. 100 volts on there, so you want to be very careful. Um, definitely be very careful. This, as I said, there's 100 volts, so caution. Anyway, you're gonna unplug the battery. Uh, other things you need to unplug is uh, so you'll see coming from the motor here. I have it taped, it won't look like this. It's just gonna be gooped in a cap gooped in the black silicone and. This is the motor wire coming through here, and you'll see there's a little um, heat shrinked wire coming off to the side here with multiple color wires. That's the hall sensor cable. It's also going to be white silicone gooped on here, so you're going to really carefully um, pull the silicone out of here and remove the connector. And uh, don't tug on the wires. I was looking at it um, out of curiosity, and the crimps are not super fantastic. <laughs> So if you pull on the wire, you may actually pull the wire out of the crimp connector and then you just have a bare wire coming out. So um, unless you have the crimps like I do to fix it, uh, you're not going to want to do that. So when you remove it, you're just going to want to like lift it by the edges of the connector. Don't pull on the wires. Uh, then you're going to want to unplug the three uh, motor phase wires. And uh, they're just like in these big old... I don't know what to call this kind of connector. It's just like a big solid cylinder <laughs> stuck in this thing. Um, you're going to pull those out carefully. Um, I guess you can use pliers, but if you're using pliers, be very careful not to short anything on the board in case there is any like residual uh, capacitance anywhere. Um, also, in case of electrostatic discharge from your body or the tool. Um, so yeah, you're going to unplug those. Um, on both sides of the wheel, so on the other side also, you're going to need to remove these six screws. Uh, and then lastly, uh, if you go down in the bottom here, uh, do I want to do this on video? I'm not going to do it, um, but I'll explain. So you're going to like peel up the uh, gasket here along with uh, this diffuser for the LEDs. Past, you can see there's like this separate plastic piece here. So you want to peel that up past the plastic on thing on both sides. And then the LEDs, which are unfortunately stuck with the adhesive down on the bottom here, you're going to want to very carefully unstick it a little bit. Um, I use like a really thin um, tweezer, um, but very careful. And you're going to want to kind of lift it up out of, of the um, channel here and kind of just get it up. And uh, then this piece here actually is snapped on. This lower piece here and it uh, keeps uh, the pedal hanger from coming out the bottom and so um, you can't see because you can't oh well, you, you know you can't see under here but there's kind of a clip that goes down and scoops in like this and so if you kind of pull out and up it's pretty tough um, so just be forewarned it is uh, definitely a really tight snap um, you're going to kind of pull out and up, and then this this uh, piece here will pop out. And then this, um, with the LEDs, you know, already out of the way, it'll open up the bottom here. And so you'll just take this cap off, and um, the wheel will slide out the bottom. And you just want to be very careful about the motor wires as you sneak it through here. Um, and you also may need to kind of spread the um, halves of the shell a little bit while you're doing this. And then you'll just slide it out the bottom. And that's it. It's not too terribly difficult. Uh, 
feel like it could be a little better, but it's definitely a lot better than having to like take everything out and get all this foam unstuck and take screws out from both sides and separate the halves of the shell. So yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I can try to answer them my best. Uh, I kind of just figured this out myself. So yeah, good luck everybody. And uh, hope you enjoy whatever tires you end up putting on here.